Hey, what's up guys? Arava here, and welcome back to another 0% AI challenge on the F1 22 game. Today, we're taking on 0% AI from the back of the grid and seeing if we can beat them whilst our tyres are at minus 273 degrees Celsius. Which, of course, you'll know if you paid attention in science class back in school is absolute zero. The lowest limit of a thermodynamic temperature scale. Scale. So, in reality, the tyres really should not be able to withstand this cold temperature. But we know from a previous 0% AI challenge on last year's game, where I tried to drive with the tyres at 9,000 degrees Celsius, that in the F1 game by Codemasters, anything is really possible. And let's see who's able to keep their tyres in that temperature sweet spot early on, lest they see themselves skating wide at turn one on cold rubber. Oh, Anthony, if only you knew how cold our rubber was going going to be today because at this point these tires may as well not even be rubber they may as well be blocks of ice because as you can see on the on the right hand side there there are the tire temps as we go to five red lights hold it my god that was shaky in first gear let's hope we never have that again i won't be using first gear for a lot of this entire race so hopefully that's maybe the squirmish this car is going to feel but that was not a good start really need to be very careful on the throttle and that's difficult for me if you've been on this channel for even a little while you'll know how much of a lead foot i have as we are now well just absolutely swamped by the lack of intelligence of the zero percent ai going for a breast in that right hander trying to get the power down fourth gear it seems like that's the gear i can get full throttle on i'll make a move i've yet to make an overtake Let's see if he locks up. Surely we can overtake him. Yes, we can. Up into... No, we've still not made the move. Oh, dearie me. This is embarrassing. We've st we're still last place. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Little let the car roll through. And it's worked. Right, Albon. Let's swing le left. Ah! Okay. Too, too confident there. I got... You saw that. That spin was nearly happening there. Just got a bit too confident on the full throttle. So at all times, I'm going to just be tapping this throttle. You know, doing a bit of a, a bit of center style driving in the middle of the corner. Just to assess when I can go full throttle. In a straight line, though. Remember, it is 0% AI. So in a straight line, I've actually got some good pace. And on the braking, not too bad. You think minus 273 degrees, the brakes would just not work? Which is odd, and I want to confirm, I am running, as I do on all my videos, no assists, you know, traction's off, anti-lock brakes are off, so, yeah, this is the actual physics engine of the game maybe coming true, so, I feel like if the brakes were really this cold, I would be just careering straight on, but no, we're fine, we've overtaken Ricardo into P14, I've actually set a purple first sector, I can see, okay, there's a little bit of, uh, little bit of understeer there, if I go too deep into the corner. Maybe it is just the fact I've been so cautious this entire time. If I, I feel like if I drove this lap like I normally would, or like I have done like a my team career in the last time I came to Austria, I probably would be going off left, right and centre. But because I'm so wary that this thing could spin out any moment, I'm taking it easy. And the easy approach, the James May approach, the slow and steady approach is working, as that is a mountain of understeer. Straight line is absolutely not an issue. Fast slap of the race now. Versus these guys, and we're going to try and get down the inside of Ocon. Sorry, Esteban. P11, points on sight. It's lap three only. I need to use the most of this car in a straight line, knowing that I'm going to have to take it easier into every brake zone. Like this, Like I, I should definitely be able to outbreak him completely, but that just looked like I was having an actual fight with Magnussen. It's moments like those, you know, where the, you can just hear the... The engine rev a bit too high there. That gets me a bit worried. And that and this is understeering now a lot. Okay, as we're going on through this race, the this is feeling worse. I don't know how that's possible. Maybe maybe the tyres were slightly warmer in reality when we started the race. Because there was obviously probably a simulated formation lap. I don't know. But there is definitely some more understeer now in this car. Or maybe that's just me trying to go faster and faster. Come on. We'll get Valtteri. The flying fin cool as ever the fins are i'm sure he'd be absolutely at home with this kind of oh god oh god with these kind of tire temps he's giving me a fight i'm being attacked by a zero percent ai but much like max verstappen in real life i will not be giving up that position anytime soon nail it fourth gear 
underrated as a gear, I feel. If you ever go drive in the snow, they'll always tell you, fourth gear, always the one to look out for. Oh my, that is bad. Joe's coming back at me. He's actually attacked me there a little bit. I was quite surprised. But we're making good progress. Our teammate, Perez, is only here in P6. Right, around the outside, going to just... Let the car roll through. I didn't even apply much throttle there. I just let the 0% AI coding do the work for me as we gain. Easy. Oh, couldn't really go too aggressive on the left-hand side there. But now, can we make a move on Checo in the last corner? <laughs> Close stuff. And then on Fernando, up into P5. Who needs 18 laps? We're not going to need 18 laps. Catching up to Leclerc, Russell. This is the entire top four, this is. Because, of course, we've already, already overtaken the Red Bull in this race. It's now just the Ferraris and the Mercs. It's not going to be five laps quite as we... <laughs> that was close. Not going to be five laps exactly. This could have been just about a five-lap challenge, you know, because that is lap six now. So nearly could have got this done in a five-lap race instead of a 25 one. This is the spot where we seem to be gaining the most time the place where I don't need to worry too much about throttle input. It's just about letting the car do its thing. There we go. Simple move on Carlos Sainz. And now the overtake on Hamilton in a straight line to the inside. And we are up into P1 of this race. Hamilton attacks me a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, my. It's not fine. Spin it round. We've lost it. Don't crash into me. Don't crash into me. We go again on the McLaren. Oh, whoa. what is going on here now? Oh, oh. Why, why is it feeling worse? Why is it worse? I'm being attacked by 0% out here. What's going on? Okay. We go again on the McLaren. Lonzo's coming in. Careful. I'm going to come in now as well. Sorry. I've overtaken in the pit lane. I don't care. Perez wasn't coming in. We should come in. Now, quite weirdly, in the pit lane, the brake temperatures have uh, recovered. But they're going to instantly become absolute zero once again. Oh, my. Oh, God. Out of the pits. It's horrendous. What's going on? We're already at minus 273. The tyres can't get any colder than that. Easy. Around the outside of the GOAT. Checo's in. Leclerc's ahead. Hamilton's ahead. That's, that's the leaders. These are the two leaders, are they not? Or well, Hamilton at least was leading before. I think it was the curb that got me instead of the tyres. But this time, we make sure Hamilton... Oh, Hamilton's very aggressive there with covering me off. But we're going to get him. Easy. Oh, 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 Lewis! It's almost like the AI saw me get into first place so easily with the cold tyres. And they're like, no, you know what? We're actually going to put up a fight. I think also my sensibility is going out the window. I'm braking a bit later than I probably should be forgetting about how cold the brakes are because I want to try and get these overtakes done. But maybe I need to go back to being patient. And I will do here. Surely we get, we're going to get him here. Come on. Come on. Easy. Lovely. Nice. Nice. Patience is a virtue. Easy. Let off throttle. Round the outside. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. We've literally docked in in between Albon and Russell. We'll get down the inside of the Williams car. These guys yet to pit the Astons. Yet to pit lofty P3 and 4. This is for them. Vettel, you're done. We a bit shaky on the throttle there, but we're catching up to Sonoda. Bottas probably going to come in because Sonoda is coming in. So as we round this bend, this is probably going to be the first place and the home run to the end. <sighs> Kept that out of the wall. Oh, my God. It's a good thing I had 12 seconds. It's a good thing I had about 12 seconds on everyone. Oh, my God. And in the end, minus 273 degree tyres. Not too bad. Really not that bad. 9,000 degrees. Our hot tyres were more challenging I felt then minus 273 degrees. Well, that's because the game physics just can't handle the cold tire, like the, the coding more than the hot tires. I don't know. As a whole, I think we all know anyway, the physics model isn't probably going to be able to handle any of these things, but it's fun to try and see. Or if you think about it, it may just show how truly slow the 0% AI are, because I was having to, well, you could, you could see it in the corners, I was going a lot slower than you would be doing in under normal circumstances, so maybe that's just how cold or how slow they are.
Either way, guys. Either way, guys. A bit of. Either way, guys. A bit of silly fun. And either way, guys. A bit of a silly fun experiment. Back with the zero percent AI. If you've got any more scenarios for me to try and you can think of, then let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this one, though, hit the like button. And you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula One content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.